last week, the professional recording of Puffs, the play, was shown in movie theaters across America, courtesy of Fathom Events. I was lucky enough to see Puffs live about a year and a half ago, back when they were still off off Broadway. It was amazing, and one of the first things I did was ask if there were any plans for a recording, because I had friends I knew would love it, but that wouldn't be able to come to the area anytime soon. At the time, I was told there were no plans for a recording, but who knows what could happen in the future? So. When a Kickstarter for a professional recording popped up a year later, I was over the moon. I went to see the recorded version in the theaters, obviously, last week. It was a great time. It was even funnier than I remembered, or rather I remembered that it was hilarious, but I had forgotten most of the jokes, so they had me in stitches all over again. It was so much fun seeing it again. My enjoyment was only fueled by the reaction of the rest of the audience, getting it to share it with them. The boys in the row behind me were dying. It was great. It was such a connecting Harry Potter community experience. Because Puffs is funny on its own, but it's hilarious if you're deep in the Harry Potter fandom. There are so many jokes about not only what the average Harry Potter fan would notice, like being angry all of fifth year, but also things that fans would recognize more easily than the layman would, like that super uncomfortable display of affection Voldemort gave Draco in the eighth movie, or how the book character uh, Zacharias Smith is just like kind of a douche. There were a few differences um, that I saw when I was watching the recorded version uh, from what I remember of the early version. Um, for example, like the butterbeer drinking scene in third year, uh, it was a lot more, in the original version, it was a lot more wild crazy party and they played a lot of this song. I get no doubt, but I get all the that one. Um, instead of in the pro shot, they showed that the later version had, they went for more of a lot of other drunken stereotypes, which I do like the way that it ended up. Like, leave the making up for six years, am I right? <laughs> uh, what's really interesting to me, and this is something that I love about all theater, not just puffs, is that when you see multiple performances of the same show, certain things just feel different. Like, maybe the actors play it slightly differently that day, there's little alteration in emotion or in body language, but you just get different impressions of the same thing from one show to another. Like, for a non-puffs example, okay, when I first saw Dear Evan Hansen, there was this moment when Larry Murphy looked up at a photo of this tiny gap tooth beaming Connor in his little kid pajamas and completely fell apart on the stage. And that was really impactful to me. And then sometime later, I checked out an act one bootleg and even though he still looked around at the photos and started crying, it just, it felt different. In Puffs, we had the same sort of deal, just little things stood out more between different performances. Like, after the first time I saw it, I remember being a lot more struck by Megan's journey to find herself, the way she was trying to emulate all the other houses in the beginning, and how it was only in later years when she started to look more relaxed and comfortable with herself, with everything. Uh, and just little things like the whole J. Finch approved motto, you know, that uh, it seems like it was more stressed in the one I saw, or at least it stuck in my head more. Um, and Sally Ann Perks' whole no glasses, suddenly hot girl thing. 
in the pro shop version there were other things that i found stronger than in the one i remembered too though of course like i got a lot more out of the susan bones character in the recorded ver when i saw the recorded version uh harry seemed more consistent zach smith's monologue was obviously different from what i saw since it changes all the time but it was amazing the way it dragged on i was dying uh <laughs> anyway the point is puffs the play is a hilarious harry potter parody i would highly recommend going to see it if you're a harry potter fan it's currently running in new york and in australia uh the kickstarter which was originally for the pro shot is still running in the hopes of raising enough to put out blu-ray and dvds I'll put a link to that in the description so you can donate. Um, I know that I fully intend to share this show with all of my Potter fan friends. And if you're one of us, then I guarantee once you see it, you'll want to too. Alright, till next time guys. Third or nothing!